Good afternoon, everyone. Today, myself, Dr. Asadoshan, I'm here to present a case report on a very rare case of tumoral calcinosis. So a 13-year-old girl presented to our institute with swelling in the bilateral hip region over a period of two years duration. The swelling increased progressively and it was associated with pain. A medical history was insignificant. There were no any history of trauma, hematuria, abdominal pain, renal insufficiency, or similar family history. Physical examination revealed tender, hard mass around both the hip joint. The mosses were not attached to the underlying bone. The temperature and texture of the, or of the overlying skin was in fact normal. We then subjected the patient to some biochemical investigation, which revealed that the serum calcium, serum albumin, vitamin D, liver function test, renal function test were in fact normal. However, the phosphate level were high in the patient. It was approximately around 7.2 7 uh, milligram per deciliter. She had mild lymphocytosis with phrased erythrocyte sedimentation rate, which signified that the patient was uh, suffering from a chronic inflammatory process. The patient was sent, you know, the patient was then sent to the radiology department for further investigation to characterize the so, when she came to our department, we the first investigation that we did was an X-ray. We looked at the X-ray of it which revealed that there were large bilateral amorphous soft tissue multi-locular calcification seen around the hip with internal cystic and, and sedimentation level. The underlying bony structures were in fact, were in fact unremarkable. We then performed USC of both the hip region, which will build hypoechoic heterogeneous salt, which measure approximately 18 to 4 centimeter in the upper lateral part of the thigh region on the left side and similar on the right side. With multiple large foci of calcification in the peripherally as well as centrally in the subcutaneous as well as muscular plane. The patient, we then sent the patient uh, for a CT, a CT investigation, which revealed bilaterally almost symmetrical in shape and size, predominantly calcified salt, noted in the subcutaneous and muscle plane of bilateral gluteal region with multiple cystic areas containing dense fluid fluid label and enhancing areas in this region. A few feeding vessels were also noted, uh, uh, noted in these regions. We then subjected the patient to MRI finding, these were the images that were obtained. In. These were the T1 images, and these were the T2 fat set images. On MRI, there were there there were uh, there were uh, periarticular multilocular calci calcified mosses with significant fluid calcium level involving bilateral gluteus maximus muscle with soft tissue extension around the hip and the upper femurs. It showed heterogeneous T1 signal intensity and predominantly high T2 signal intensity with multiple calcium fluid. We then performed a, a USA guided appendicitis examination of, of the lesion, which revealed the microscopic examination of, revealed, uh, of the lesion in uh, revealed smears where, in fact, a cellulose only composed of calci calcified material deposit. There was no necrosis, no granuloma. Management. The mass was surgically removed and the patient was kept on phosphate restricted diet thereafter. The tumoral calcinosis is in fact a rare and benign pathological condition which is characterized by calcified deposit of hydroxyapatite or amorphous calcium phosphate crystals in the periarticular connective tissue. They are in not true they are not true neoplasms and they do not pose mitotic cells. Despite several theories, exact pathogenesis of the condition remain in fact unclear. In terms of its epidemiology, the idiopathic form usually occurs in the first three decades of life, no apparent sex pre uh, predominance and an up apparent predeclination towards black population mostly. On a clinical evaluation, it presents as a slow-growing soft tissue mass, painless in most cases, arising near large joints with, with the hip joint being the most common site in the reported series. The other side are elbow, shoulder, knee, wrist, hand and foot. The differential diagnosis considered in this case is a soft tissue uh, calcification in fluid calcinosis, secondary to renal failure, which can be differentiated by the renal function test and vitamin D level. Synovial chondromatosis, which is usually intraarticular and shows ring arc appearance. Myositis ossificans, which is characterized by rapid evolution and lacks lobular morphology. 
complica complication related to, to, uh, to this condition includes pain due to nerve compression, ulceration, bacterial infection, and cosmetic disfiguration. Several complication, severe complication is very rare and it will induce loss of vision. The treatment choice is surgical resection as the use of medical treatment for hypophosphatemia is controversial. Steroid and radiation use were also suggested by other author, authors. However, complete surgical removal to prevent reoccurrence is in fact the best approach. Conclusion. Tumoral calcinosis, though a rare condition, should be considered a possible diagnosis in the age group and radi radiographic picture, as it is not a typical neoplasm or a bony tumor. The decision to intervene is entirely based on the patient disability and complication as a result of the pathology. The treatment remains essentially surgical and the prognosis is usually lost. So these were the references that I obtained from. Uh, thank you.